Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. Welcome to the One Percenter Podcast. All right, so you guys know I'm like ultra uh, a freak when it comes to health, right? Like total immersion on like me trying to live as long as I possibly can. Selfishly, I want to live a long time. I also want to live a long time for my family and my kids, my team. I want to be around for you guys. Um, It's a beautiful time to be alive. There's this thing that Steve has. It's called Advanced Longevity. He has uh, a company that literally can scan you and tell you if there's anything down the road in your future that could could be the death of you. It's like looking down the shotgun like a barrel and truly seeing any problems you have in the future. Any organ in your body from cancer or anything. And I want to tell you something. I, I did one of these scans. It is mind blowing what you will find out, what you can see. And I'm going to tell you, this is going to be one of the most educational podcasts ever. I guarantee he's going to give you information you didn't even know existed and also tell you how if you want to scan and see if there's anything in the future for you, good or bad, you guys can see it. So cool. So check this out. Be ready to get educated. If you care about health, which obviously we have to stay alive, um, this is going to be something you want to watch the entire video. Check it out. Yeah, I'ma train hard. Mistakes turn into learn scars. To build a brick yard, it's one by one. Easy. All right, guys, so I'm here today with Steve. Steve is going to educate us. So I asked Steve, I said, Steve, do me a favor. I said, tell me why a lot of people haven't heard about this technology in which they can scan you and you can figure out what's what's down the road for you. What does your future look like? Like, do I have a blocked heart? Do I have heart disease? Do I have something that's going on, um, which Steve can really explain to us, in my prostate? You know, do I have something that maybe will be an issue four years from now, but I don't have any symptoms today? And Steve goes, yeah, well, most of the time doctors will turn you away unless you're sick. And I thought, man, well, why don't people know about this and he said well because a lot of people wouldn't get paid if everybody knew about this so guys i want to tell you i'm going to introduce you to steve um he has he has a advanced body scan company but then they went into advanced longevity which is truly how to live out a long life which means to find out if there is anything how to fix it how to catch it early and how to stay healthy which is longevity so steve i you don't need an introduction but i'm just going to tell you like truly you saved uh, millions of people's lives i've read all your testimonies and by the way guys there's a q QR code that's going to be on the screen uh, on the screen multiple times as Steve's talking. Okay, um, and in the in the bio below, there's going to be a link which you can click on. And Steve has locations in Oklahoma and Texas where people fly out all around the country to go get their body scanned and checked out. Um, so I just want to tell you guys, you can actually get a hold of him. You guys can do business with him. I do business with him. It's truly changed my life. My whole family does business with. My team does business with him. I will tell you, if health is important to you, you need to know this, man. Um, Steve, I'm going to turn it over to you, and I just want you to just unleash and let it go. It's great to be here, and i got to tell you, it's been a long time since I've been somewhere that I've seen such a team uh, full of energy and positive thinking that I've seen here today. Thank you. Uh, It exudes your character, and it's very impressive everyone there's no strangers they all came up and hugged me and said hello and i I'm, i was trying to figure out what i'd done and but yeah it's a great place you, you've you've done a great job here thank you and i'm happy to be here and thank you for that introduction uh, the energy around this place is incredible so i probably won't sleep for two weeks but uh, we're good it's that's all what good we do. amen you, you keep yeah. us alive and we'll, amen. Keep, cha- Let's we'll go. keep changing lives but so for anybody watching this <clears throat> Tell, tell us a little bit about, about what you do. You've spent your whole life to this, but I think there's a lot of um, available technology that isn't crazy expensive that literally can allow you to live a long life and sure. I think see what's down the road. Well, there's two things. You hit on one is, that, you know, unfortunately in the U.S., and when I say this, first of all, I'm not a doctor. But these are my opinions, and my wife says I have a lot of them, so mm-hmm. we're going to talk about a lot of different things here and, and what, what I've seen and been exposed to. But I'm not a medical doctor or a medical but your person. But doc- the doctors work for you. We have a whole team of physicians, cardiologists, uh, primary care radiologists. They're all on staff. They mm-hmm. are all in our team. We have the entire infrastructure that we control. Yeah. Uh, but but the, the doctors, we have great doctors. Matter of fact, the U.S. has the best doctors in the world. The best doctors come here to practice. And why is that? Because the education and the facilities that we have are second to none. Unfortunately, there's a barrier to health care in this country. 
And that barrier is one thing, it's the payers. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. The payers control the healthcare, not the doctors. Every doctor I meet, without exception, wants to be a doctor. They want to provide the care that's needed to the patient when the patient needs it. Unfortunately, because of the payer system that we have, and it's controlled by a very small group of companies, uh, I won't name any names right mm -hmm. now, but I may later, uh, you but can't get access to That's fine, I think just understanding it. Yeah, just getting access to that care is difficult. Let's face it. If you heard about one of these programs that we do and you wanted to go to try and get your doctor to provide it, if you get past the gatekeeper and you get inside to the mid-level or doc, whoever you may see that day, the first question they're going to ask you is, Are you sick? What's wrong? Why are yeah. you here today? Well, n nothing. I just want to get this scan or I want to get this procedure. You know, What's the response? We treat sick people. Get out of here. Because they can't. It can't. They can't get it covered by your insurance. That's right. So anybody watching this, right? Like, you know, I was telling um, Steve, I was like, man, I've been, you know, I'm, I'm really healthy, right? Like I look in the mirror, I look healthy. So I'm like, I don't need a doctor. You're the picture of fitness. I'll just say. Well, yeah, but then, but, but, but then I, I have a good buddy of mine that he looked just like me. Mm -hmm. He was really healthy. I run with healthy people and he ended up dying. And I'm like, why'd he end up dying? Well, because they, they found out there was a problem. And I'm like, well, it didn't look like there was a problem. And so that's where these scans come in play is that e our goal is to, to pray that we're going to live a long life, to take care of ourselves as if we're going to live a long life. But the body has a lot of things going on. There's millions of parts. There's lots of things going on. And at the end of the day, you don't always know when there's a problem. And that's the reason how, how these scans can detect and kind of tell us the future and let us know um, What's next? Can you get into that a little well, bit? Well, when we this? first started this back, you know, 2010, 2011, when we really started scanning patients, uh, the medical community was not a fan of it. And again, like you say, if we, if we found all these diseases at early stages, you know, the outcome's better, it's easier, the, the treatment's easier. Can you talk to us about some prevention um, things that you find every day in scans? Sure. So, I mean, one, some people come in, they get scanned, and you say, hey, man, you guys are gold. Get your ass out of here. So, and then uh, some people come in, and w what do you find? Well, it's crazy. The statistics don't sound real, but we've done study after study, and, of course, there's other people doing this today as well. Eighty percent of the people, uh, there's a Dr. Leroy Hood, who is a one of the most intelligent people I've ever known. Uh, don't know him personally, but I've read a lot of his stuff. He has a book out right now called uh, Scientific Medicine. Uh, mm -hmm. Encapsulates better than anything I've read about this, where we're going with medicine mm -hmm. in this country. Mm -hmm. But uh, these diseases don't just happen overnight. If you, you're a friend, you know, did he heart attack? I'm assuming. Yeah, it was about a, it was about a two year period. They found out that he had a a, a block a blocked mm -hmm. uh, eighty percent blocked mm -hmm. deal, and they said, man, you know, if uh, or I mean, about a two month period. They said, had he found been found earlier, right? So, they, so they could me, have, did that 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 calcium? It's typically calcium, a lesion. Yeah, did that happen overnight? No, no, it's, over it fifty takes, years takes years to develop. Sometimes many years. Same with cancer. The two deadliest diseases in our country in the world, basically, are heart disease and cancer. They kill more people than all other diseases combined. Mm -hmm. But but none of them just, you don't wake up one day, oh, I've got cancer and die. Mm -hmm. That's why they have stages, stage zero to four on cancer. If I find this cancer at stage zero, as opposed to, to stage three or four, which do you think is easier to treat? Oh yeah. I mean, there's, there's, it, the outcome is almost always better. Uh, you know, there's certain cases that it doesn't prolong their life that if it's found early, but the key is getting care quicker because mm -hmm. we do have a great medical f facility and system in this country. Yeah. If you get where it can be taken care of, if you get past the payers, but early detection has proven to save lives. We, we scan, uh, are the studies of scans we've done 80% of the people, and this is in Dr. Hood's book. That's why I brought up his name 44 or older. 80% of the population has some sign 
of a deadly disease. Mm. Now, it could be as simple as a, a small lesion or it could be a tumor, uh, a cyst of some kind. 80% of our population. And I want to know what it is. Yeah, in my body. You do. And most people yeah. don't. That's the craziest thing. The, the thing that struck us the most when we first started is we would we would be at an event or we'd be talking about what we do to a group and they'd be like, you know, we don't want to know. what. So you want to die a horrible death? I mean, why would you not want to know? Yeah, well, if when you do find out down the road, if somebody would have said, hey, would you have liked to known before it got to this point? Would you have wanted to know about it? Everybody would have said, well, yeah. I, my mother died of a late-stage cancer diagnosis. And the treatment, the ensuing treatment and and suffering that she went through i guarantee you you want to know you want to know sooner because mm. it was horrible it was intolerable and really that's the motivation that pushed me to this point today i knew the technology's out there why aren't we using this more prevalent so we set a goal to scan a million people that was our goal when we started we're over 16 percent there now i realized the goal wasn't big enough so you know talked to guy cardone he said you need to 10x that goal Mm -hmm. So here we are at 10 million. So our goal is to scan 10 million people before it. we're done. And we're building the infrastructure to do that. So so basically anybody watching this right now, and I want to give you a number too because there's a phone number. So you can write this down because you can, you can either scan on the screen. You can click the link in the description box below. Or you can call this number because I made sure I had his number because I know some people like to call. I'm going to put this up. It's 833-411-SCAN, 833-411-SCAN. And I want to tell you something. This this information it could be not even you it could be your mom it could be your dad it could be you know it could be anyone at any point in age you know our bodies go through a lot of stress you know a lot of people go through a lot of trauma you know cortisol no testosterone like everybody like all these things that happen life goes on you know chemicals people being exposed to certain things we were talking about your father you know and then you know how this has saved his life and he's still alive and he's 89 years old today still working jamming and rock and rolling and he probably wouldn't have lived past the 70s really? you know which is crazy it's 20 more years you know being alive i just want you to understand something guys this is no joke you get one life and anytime I find value, I'm, I'm, I'm a big person in self-development. It's not always in making money. The game is who can live the longest. Okay. The game is who can be around with their family to protect them, you know, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, so this is important stuff to me. So anything that's important to me, I like to share with you guys. Can you tell me um, how it goes? How easy are these scans? So somebody, they click the link, they book an appointment, they get it set up. They, they, they fly out. You got, you got Houston, Dallas, Oklahoma city. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, the, the three big ports, which these are easy flights. They come in. These are done in one day? Yes. So there's there's some more complexity to the longevity package than just the body scan. Okay, so, there's, scan so there's different stuff right. that people can do. So All right. before that, you know, what we're really offering here, we yeah. touched on it just briefly, being a sick care system. When you get finished with this, we've got about 1.5, 1.4 gig of data mm -hmm. all about your body mm. okay can we talk about that like we is will that, is that, okay. what's that give you though now i've got data that i can give to the system and that gets that door open i've got access to the system mm -hmm. without having to be sick plus you you're going to consult with our doctor we do intense mm -hmm. consultations mm -hmm. about every finding so you understand what it means mm -hmm. especially your dna there's hundreds of markers 150,000 uh, different data points in just So that means you're going to educate me on who I am, how my body operates. You will know more. Yeah, so I, and by the way, way, when I leave, I'll know like my best road for my best odds to live my longest life. Absolutely, plus and, you've got a baseline. And be the healthiest. So uh -huh. now you have a baseline. I love that. The scan that you had recently gave you a baseline to know. Mm -hmm. There was, remember the data, there was numbers mm -hmm. in there that we talked about. Now you've got a baseline of all of your system. Mm. And, and the thing, again, Dr. Hood, I want to reference him a lot because he's kind of one of my idols here. Uh, you know, he talked about where this paradigm started shifting. He talks a lot about paradigms. Is that we went from the medical community looking at one singular area as a problem and to that the, the body is a system of systems. So just like in your house if you have a plumbing system and one piece of it goes bad 
you pretty much all of your plumbing systems down till you mm. fix it. Mm -hmm. It's the same in the body. One piece doesn't just affect that piece. It's all interrelated. And so by getting all of this data, by getting your complex blood panels, getting your DNA, and we'll go through as many of these and all of this as you want. Mm -hmm. uh, we now have blood cancer detection. Mm. And I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, but we started out doing the screenings, just the scans. Yeah. Okay. And at, during this period of time, I realized that the biologics are really the key to this, but they hadn't advanced to the point where they were being brought to the market. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Hood, I, I, I should have brought him here today. You know, he was really the lead physician that that drove this d detection uh, of the genome. He really was the guy that invented the technology, and he was an uh, administrative um, physician. And he worked for several different um, universities and on staff and was an, the con quintessential research guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, he knew more about how this worked. And so he helped. It took him about 20 years and $3 billion to create the technology that decoded our genome. Mm. The information in your genome tells you uh, about your future. Mm -hmm. It is the pieces that show what you're susceptible to, what inherited genetic flaws you may have, and also gives you a really good picture of how long you're going to live by avoiding the problems that you're susceptible to by reading your genome. But that piece, when it first came out, when they first were able to uh, decode the genome, and I don't remember the exact number, but it's it was a million dollars if you wanted to go do it. Yeah. And then it came to... 100,000 and it came to 10,000 mm -hmm. and today it's commercially available one note of caution if you see somebody offering to decode your genome for less than a thousand or two thousand dollars ask this one question mm -hmm. and that is where is your lab located mm -hmm. today you can get your genome lab done for free in China I would not want China knowing what my flaws were in my body and that's prevalent today. So always make sure you have a reputable U.S. lab. We have contracts with multiple labs, all based in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And that's another point. We never disseminate your data to anyone else. Mm -hmm. We don't put it in any bureaus. We don't put it out on the Internet. So I wanted to ask you that. So if somebody reaches out and they do their scan and they learn all about their mm -hmm. body, they understand exactly what they need to do. They consult with your, your physicians. Consultation. They, yeah, yeah. They're, they're ready to roll now. I'm like, okay, got my plan. Know what's up. I'm going to fix this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tighten up here. You know what I mean? I'm ready to live my best life. That never, uh, does that report? Is that what you're saying? Does that report over? So uh, you mean, do we give it to anyone? But yeah, does that go over to No one. To it, it is your report. It's, it's, it's in an encrypted spot in, uh -huh. in your portal mm -hmm. on, our, on our website software. And then we do not allow anyone else access to that. And that is yours to keep. Mm -hmm. And we, don't, it, we recommend you send it to your physician if you yeah. have a physician. Whatever you want to do with it. You, yeah, it's whatever yeah. you want to do, but we don't disseminate it anywhere. Mm. So it's private and it's kept that way. So... Uh, there's lots of places that, you know, public, it's really not public, but your health information is sent. Yeah, I've Government, seen that. Yeah, insurance uh, but I've bureau, seen that. so forth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't send it out. We're not under their guidance because we don't take health insurance. We don't take government insurance. And so we, this is a private, personal. Remember, we're giving you access to that system by this data that you're getting. Yeah. But it's your data, and it's kept that way. And so we were talking about, like, when you guys go to events now, um, people how they it's not about you guys just giving out information anymore and trying to convince people that this is something that this is good when people hear the name of y'all's company they they'll swarm your your booth they'll swarm your your convention place crying telling you save their family's life i get more hugs and santa claus yeah so let's talk about that a little bit right like, so like when we started as i say we we were trying to get the word out and trying to help you know people understand what the scan does it looks for disease at early stages and why that's important so there was a long education process a couple of years at least mm -hmm. today when we go to events people come up all the time matter of fact we have someone in the booth that just says 
is, is says hello and talks to them and takes down their information. We have ladies at the state fair that wear shirt, T-shirts around unsolicited. They paid for them themselves. That says advanced body scan saved my life. And so, you know, there's a culture that we've created mm -hmm. uh, just by being able to save lives. I get up every day thinking, see how many lives we can save today. Yeah, so I want to say something. So, um, number one, when I got my scan, I want you guys to know something. It just feels good to have certainty to know what's going on. I mean, you know, some people, I, mean, I just want to say this, they may be like, oh, well, I don't, you know, I don't want to know. No, you want to know. He just, you were just talking about your mom and, you know, you said, if you understood what she went through, you, you would want to know, you know, you, you don't want to get sick. You don't want to wait until something's too late. You got one life and, you know, it really doesn't matter your age, right? Like, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I'm 44. I did mine. 80% of the people 44 and older have some sign of this disease. Yeah. Yeah. My wife was 42. She just did hers. And, you know, it was crazy as healthy as we are when we looked at it. We were like, dude, we got things we need to change, you know. And we were like, we were relieved. We were really happy that we know what we need to work on. And you're a healthy guy and mm -hmm. your wife as well. And I, I, I see, I'm out in the public every day and I travel almost every day and I, you're not the norm. So there's a lot of people. Yeah, and we have things we need to fix. We do. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm thinking like... Dude, like, by the way, this is a, it, I would say it's a, it's a good turning point for a lot of people to really just say, hey, you know what? I'm going to start taking health serious. Um, you know, where do I start? And your family. I mean, your, your genetics are, are your, you get half from mom and half from dad. Mm. So if there's family history, you've got a high probability that you've got it as well. So, yeah. And, and, you know, expose your family to it, your parents, your grandparents. Yeah, this is, a, yeah, that, I'm glad you said that. This is a cheat code you know, to really see what's going on. So anybody watching this, maybe, you know, you're like, and I'm just giving an example in your twenties and you're like, dude, I'm going to send this to my mom, you know, send this podcast Especially over to your family history. Uh huh. That, yep. Send this over to your, factor, yeah. your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa, you know, send them the, this link, send them some, the, uh, this YouTube video, let them watch it and really understand that man, like it's so cool. Like it's physically a scan, um, and then and then the longevity that you guys put together. You guys put together a, a rollout plan. Is that right? Correct. Yeah, and so, I love so that. We we have a program. We'll talk about at the end here about what all we've got in, in the Elliott package that I'd like to. Uh, yeah, I love that. Talk about because you started you started with just scan and letting people know. Then you right. you brought everything in house. You built the infrastructure, and now you guys take care of everything. I mean, we a every Z. day someone would call and say, "Hey, I just want to let you know." I, I start telling these stories, but we had a gal. Yeah, I like I like the stories. Western man, Oklahoma, them. a little town called Elk City, which was the heart of the, you know, gas production mm -hmm. out there, and uh, she had her husband has uh, heart issues in their family, uncles and her dad, her husband's dad, and so she saw us at the fair and she said, "I'm going to do this." Of course, you know us cave dwelling meat eating men he said i don't need that i don't want that mm -hmm. well she bought the little package we offered at the fair and they came in and i have this testimony we'll probably I'll, we'll put the links on so they can see these some of these and sure enough uh, they scanned we scanned them both and her husband was reasonably well but she had kidney cancer and had zero idea mm. no symptoms whatsoever saved her life i mean she she's the biggest advocate we have about this she's a school teacher and uh had no symptoms you know you know that's just crazy man you know what and i want to tell anybody watching this uh you do it together as a family you know do it do it do it together as a family um when i when i got mine set up i remember i heard about this and i was like dude i'm gonna do this like here we go and the first thing that i did is i immediately scheduled jackie's appointment immediately because you know i need her i need her for forever she needs to be around way longer than me for sure well, and it's, again, I don't want to beleaguer this, but I can tell you the guilt that I carry around from watching how uh, my mother suffered from a late detection of cancer. It's, uh, it's something you never lose. And so it's motivation. Again, I, and every person that, that we have a positive outcome, we call it story of success, mm -hmm. uh, it helps a little bit every day with that. So uh, I had a, another gentleman that's uh, one of the best cardiologists in the nation. We refer when we have findings, we help people get into the system. System's hard to get into, especially, especially a specialist, mm -hmm. a cancer 
oncologist or a cardiologist. Mm -hmm. Typically, you got to go through the primary care, and then they got to make the referral. We bypass that. We we have access to these guys because that's what we're doing is giving mm -hmm. you access with this information. I had referred uh, heart patients to this gentleman for a long, long time. Great guy, very smart, very intelligent, hands-on physician, cardiologist. And I had been after him about getting this scan for years. Uh, one day he finally came in and got the scan, and sure enough, uh, he had an issue. And uh, <coughs> we, when we find something, certain organs are hard to, uh, without contrast, they're hard to image, uh, especially the prostate. We can tell if it's enlarged or if it's misshapen, both of those are signs of disease. So mm -hmm. uh, he got the scan, we saw that, we did a follow-up scan with an MR, with contrast. While he was there, he came after, after clinic late one Friday afternoon, his wife was with him, they were going down to a little resort down by the Red River uh, for the weekend. Mm -hmm. So he was in the MR, I saw her in the lobby, I said, hey, have you had a body scan? We, I don't think we've ever scanned you. No, I'm fine, she's sitting there reading Better Homes and Gardens. Uh, I, I coerce her, my text was still there. So we put her in the scanner. It only takes four or five minutes, you ask. I'll mm -hmm. go into that in detail. And she's back out in the lobby but just as he's getting done with his scan. So we all talk and talk about the results and we'll get them soon. And I, I text the radiologist, they were done. So they get in the car and they start driving south. About 20, 30 minutes, the radiologist calls me, Dr. Sparks, Anthony Sparks, board certified radiologist, a uh, great. Uh, great physician he said hey I need his number and I said uh oh and he said yeah I need to talk to him and I said uh oh he said but don't not only that I need to talk to his wife too so I gave him the cell phone number he calls them uh, they're past Norman heading south and uh, he tells him what's going on and they do a u-turn not only did he have he was hot for cancer in his prostate his wife had a right kidney full of cancer and sitting there reading a magazine, again, with no perceptible symptom whatsoever. If she had them, she wasn't, you know, telling him that she had symptoms or talking to anyone about it. He called the surgeon on the way back. They took her to the hospital. They looked at her. They, the particular person wasn't there that day, but they admitted her Sunday morning and did the surgery. And he said she wouldn't have lived six weeks. Mm. That's how advanced it was. With no symptoms. It drives me crazy how the body compensates because it continuously compensates for these diseases so that it's not showing pain. It gets to a point someday it can't do it anymore. That's when the symptoms appear, and mm -hmm. then you're at stage four or three or four or worse. And it's crazy that you said that, that the body overcompensates so that you don't feel pain. It compensates. Your immune system is fighting, fighting, fighting. Yeah, because sometimes, time. you know, like, like how many times have like you been like, I got a headache? or something else is hurting back ache. back ache neck you know especially as you get older right like it's me i know <laughs> yeah like something's always hurting and you eventually just I, you say this like dude well i'm just getting older that's right and then what happens is that's just the way it works Absolutely. and then you know stomach hurts head hurts it's like you're, you're just like dude we, you know we just gotta grind unfortunately we gotta with, grind with heart you know what's the first sign of a heart attack mm, i don't know your shoulder hurting heart attack oh a heart attack your shoulders hurting you're having a heart attack Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, even with our technology today, over half are still fatal. You know, there's no check engine light there on that heart. Mm -hmm. Number one killer of all diseases. So it's, and it's simple. We talked about what's the scan like. This scan takes less than five minutes. Come in dressed as you are. There's no needles, no dyes. You're going to put your hands above your head. You're going to go in and out of a big donut, not a tube. It's very narrow. Yeah, these things are. You never stop. Yeah, they're, they're, they're massive. I mean, there's no claustrophobic. Yeah, you're in and shit. out. You hold your breath yeah. a couple times, and you're done. Mm -hmm. and it's that fast. We're mm -hmm. going to scan from your thyroid to your groin and look at all your major organs, mm -hmm. all your digestive system. We're looking for telltale signs, the smallest signs of disease. Can you talk about these machines, how like how high-powered they are? How, how The advancement in the technology in the last 12 years. I mean, especially your machines. You're like, your machines are like the best machines ever. I mean... We've got machines ordered that will be delivered soon that uh, comparative to today where we scan thyroid to growing. Now, we also do brain MRIs mm -hmm. with AI overread, but the new machines will scan head to toe in 10 seconds, mm. 30 seconds because there's some wiggle time in there in the beginning. That's and crazy. Have more detail than anything out there. Yeah. So the key is staying ahead of the technology. 
Yeah, so guys, make sure. And, and by the way, everybody, like, comment below. You're enjoying this video. You know, any questions you have, um, obviously, it's it, to me, it's just black and white. You know what I mean? If As soon as I heard about this, I'm a person that, like, I'm a – I'm an early adopter, even though this isn't like early adoption. I just, I just didn't know about it, right? So like any time that I find that I can get an edge, because I love having edges over people. I love having edges on my competition. I love learning new stuff. I love everything. So when I found out about this, I'm like, dude, why haven't I never had one of these? And then it made sense. You know, obviously, if it was everywhere, then people wouldn't be as sick. And then the, the healthcare system, like there's all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, okay, all right, time out. Where do I go? And then that's it. So if you guys, loved one, husband, wife, doesn't matter. I don't care how old you are. You know, I mean, especially I think, you know, I'm not sure if there's an age you recommend that people get stuff scanned. But at any age, you know, people in their 20s get cancer. People in their 30s get cancer. People in their 40s. is a very simple scan. You know, Dallas is a beautiful place. Book you a, plot, a spot. Go to Dallas. Got, come into town. See these guys. But you can call this number, the 833-411-SCAN, Oklahoma City. Or Houston, you have three locations. Right. Am I right? Correct. And then they can let them know what location yeah, so they want to go into. Yeah, call the number, that we have a coordinator that will set it up mm -hmm. for you and help you with your arrangements, hotel, or eating, everything. That sort of thing. Yeah. yeah, guys, this is a no-brainer. And by the way, um, this is crazy, you know, so a lot of people are like, well, how much does it cost? And I'm sure there's different packages. But what does it cost when you find out and get a bad doctor's report to get healthy? It costs you your entire life. Um, I know I know people that have spent millions and millions of dollars, every dollar they've ever worked on to try to get healthy again. Um, you know, it's no joke. I don't I don't play around with health. I think you get one life. You know, if somebody said they'd give you ten million dollars and but you couldn't wake up tomorrow, you wouldn't take it. That just means your your health is worth more than money. Um, so you guys need to make sure that if you're watching this, OK, your health is super important. I want to know what's going down. I want to know what's happening. I want to know my body better than anybody else. Um, you know, I want to I want to really start a new health journey. And me and my wife, we did, and we started it right after the scan. We were like, dude, we know where we're at. And I love that you said that there's a baseline, right? Like, you know, we're here. So the next time we get scanned, we know here. So, to so here. which leads me to the point: what's the most important scan? What is it? The next one. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's why we do this in a series. Yeah. Because if you don't have findings and you're maybe you're younger than 44, again, eight out of 10 chance. There's how many of us in this room? Mm -hmm. You know, eight out of 10 chance. We'll it's a get, big percentage. Yeah, big odds. We'll get that, be there at some point in time. Yeah. So. And, and the main goal is when you find out, it's just the main deal. It's like, what's next? Like your goal is to keep people off a surgery table. Your goal is to keep people off of, you know, um, letting things prolong and get worse. You know, but like you said, your dad found out when he was 70-something he had a problem with his heart. The minute we got open, we stuck him in the, in the scanner, and that day found out he had a massive calcium buildup on one of his valves. Like, Like, listen, he lost his mom to cancer. He would have lost his father to a heart attack. He I mean, would have been, yeah. But it would have been a heart attack, yeah. right? I mean, yep. that's what would have happened, yep. you know, for, from calcification. So I, w I want everybody to think about this for a minute. Um, you said the number one killer is, is a heart attack, right? Heart disease. Heart disease, uh-huh. And uh, calcification, I mean, comes from stress, right? I mean, is that right? Like a lot of, or, or bad environmental, eating, yes. environmental stress. And, and genetics. Okay, it could be genetics. You know, how many, of, how, many, how many people have really worked hard in their life that are watching this? How many people have grinded? You know, how many people have taken on a lot of stress? How many people have, you know, put their back against the wall and, you know, you just worked your butt off, man. And, you know, all that, all that, and I love it because, you know, it's like we're, we're not losers, right? We work our butt off. But a lot of that comes at, at a price. You know what I'm saying? You, you work. You're so, a grinder. You know, our, our medical system today follows basic what they call a wellness program. It's basically 100, over 100 years old. Mm -hmm. You know, it's popping you on the knee and coughing, listening to your chest, and checking your pulse, basically. I mean, I'm being a little bit facetious. Yeah, no, I got but it. But it hasn't advanced. So the technology's there. That's what really drove me nuts about this when I realized. Yeah, it's 2024 by the time we're shooting this. I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, what's out here? And so you can still get these pieces that we do, but you're going to spend, if you go, and there's a very fine hospital up here that has a program uh -huh. uh, at Mayo. 
right right you know, 20 yeah, miles yeah you don't want to do that you'd spend weeks there yeah. if you tried to get all that we're going to do in the day mm -hmm. because of the protocols and, I, and i'm not blaming the hospital they're under protocol guidance from mm -hmm. because they take government health insurance mm -hmm. and about 40 percent of their health care cost is mandated cost so again when i say it's controlled it's not the the doctors and the hospitals they have to be open 365 days a year. There's no locks on the doors. Mm -hmm. Their ER has to be staffed for any type of, of problem, whether it's a pandemic or a, a mass casualty, 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. And listen, docs aren't cheap, nor mm -hmm. is those facilities. So yeah. their costs are unbelievably high. But they also have this huge administrative problem. So to get all of this care in one place, is very difficult. Matter of fact, I don't know of any. It's almost other impossible. Does. Yeah, yeah, yeah especially in one day. Well, that's why I grabbed you and I had you fly up from Oklahoma City. I appreciate because, that. Yeah, guys. So we're in you Scottsdale. Were about it. Yeah, <laughs> well, we're in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I was just thinking, I'm like, I'm like, dude, like, how many people right now, like, are planning, you know, for a big future, right? Let's just let's just make sure that that happens. Like, that's it. Like, let's just make sure that we're making good decisions. And and dude, procrastination is the uh, dude i i remember when i was younger this is so crazy but i was in my 30s and i had a good buddy of mine and he found this girl and she was she was gorgeous and they fell in love together um they went and got married and he came to work one day and he goes dude she's got stage three cancer and i go what and this is w crazy but he said yeah you know her right boob has kind of been hurting her over the last like six to eight months but she didn't really say nothing. You know what I mean? Like she didn't want to come. She said something like twice. You know, I, I want everybody to think about this. Like, like how many times does like your husband or wife or boyfriend or girlfriend, you know, say something, you know, like, no, nah, this is kind of bothering me. You know, my neck hurts or this happens or something's going on. You know, we just, we just, you know, it's like, oh, okay, cool. Like we're going to be good. That's just, we're immortal. yeah, like we're immortal, but we're going to be good. And I remember though that, uh, and she ended up dying. But this is crazy, dude, that, you know, um, she was actually feeling. So I just want to say this, like uh, to me, I wouldn't got scanned. I wasn't feeling anything. I wanted to know. Uh, my wife wanted to know. And, and, and now I'm good. I feel good. I'm like, okay, cool. Hey, if there was something like I got it, but there were still some things that they showed us that I was like, okay, good. I'm glad you told me. Cause I like to play chess. I don't want to play checkers. Like there's a problem. And then I react like, I want to know what it is. Now I know what it is. Now I'm like, okay, cool, man. I'm going to make sure that I, I stay good in that area and I treat that good. And I'm looking forward to my next scan. Like he talked about, but how many people do you guys have a family member that has complained at one point in time about something? And then we just been like, oh, it's probably nothing. And the crazy thing is, is that he said that um, she was feeling stuff and then it just went away. And then finally she went and got checked and find out she had the cancer. And I think what you said earlier is you said our body like learns how to deal with pain. Your immune system is compensating. Yeah, like, like, dude, like when you said that, I'm just thinking like, dude, how many times do you feel like a weird pain, you know, in one area? And then you may even feel it for a little bit, but you're like, hey, this is going to go away eventually. Well, it's not that it goes away. It's that your body gets used to understanding how to deal with that pain. And then it just, it overcompensates. Like you said, it, it in, just, in family history, it pushes through. I, I, uh, we had it's a like group the push -through method. that came into Dallas and was part of our comprehensive program that we're going to talk about here before we're done. And, and he came over, he was working with one of the guys that was with this group, a mastermind group, mm -hmm. high level people. And he said, Hey, uh, you know, I'm really intrigued by this. My, I'm 32 years old. My uncle and my dad both died of heart attack. One at 49, one at 50. And you think I have any problems? And I said, well, we can sure find out this kid's 32. I just saw him last weekend in, in uh, Florida. He's 33 now. And we put him in the scanner, and at 32 years old, this kid has a major blockage in his, what we call the widowmaker, the LAD, mm -hmm. and he has zero symptoms. So, you know, it got me thinking, gosh, you know, did this take, did it take, did they have this at 32, his, his uh, father and his uncle? Because, again, the genetics are straight line down. And did it take this long for that to manifest? 
or did he get it younger? You know, you, we don't know because there's no studies that's been done, mm-hmm. you know, on a large group of people like this. We've, we've probably got the largest database there is on this particular thing. We've got tens of thousands in our database today with results. And, and we, you know, that's where a lot of our percentages come from. But you can't tell. He, he would not have known. We got him immediately with our consult with our cardiologist. He's under cardiology care. He doesn't need intervention yet. But by watching it, he'll be able to live past 50 if he doesn't do something else stupid that kills you. That's what our, we always say. Don't do anything stupid because the technology is advancing so fast. The chance of living to 100 and beyond is in our reach mm-hmm. very soon. Yeah, I was, I was, I was reading this a book by uh, T- Tony Robbins called Life Force, mm-hmm. and it talks about all the stuff that's coming up. And it said we're probably 10 to 12 years away from every year after about 10 or 12 years um, that we're alive. Escape velocity. Yeah, escape velocity. Right. Yeah, I was reading that. And I was like, man, they're like, you know, people c- will be able to live as long as they want to live. You know, I mean, every year it gets just a well, little key, bit better. The key is, so, you know, the, with the advancement that's going on, and, and another book, again, you should read, I'm not getting paid for this endorsement, Yeah. but uh, Scientific Medicine by Dr. Hood. And yeah, what, Scientific what, Medicine, well, I'm going to read what that. What he talks about, I listen to the Audible, it's, it's a tough listen because there's a lot of, a lot of Jargon. detailed stuff in there, yeah. but, uh, you know, he equates it to a fire, a forest fire. And he says, you know, you've got your towers in the forest with rangers, and, and what are they doing up there? What are they looking for in the forest? Mm-hmm. They're looking for smoke. Mm-hmm. Well, his point is if there's smoke, there's already a fire somewhere. But if you find that at the ember stage, which is what we're doing mm-hmm. when our scans, we're trying to find it at the earliest stage as an ember. Mm-hmm. Which is easier to put out, a forest fire no. or the embers? Yeah. You know, And think of the, the infrastructure it takes to fight a forest fire hundreds, sometimes thousands of firemen, 747s full of liquid flying over. I mean, mm-hmm. it's the same with, with late-stage diagnosis. It takes a lot more uh, detailed and uh, very invasive care to, te- to care for it, whereas uh, the embers, I can kind of kick dirt on it and go on. Mm-hmm. But his point is, and I see it, I've followed it long enough to understand, he talks about we go from a wellness mm-hmm. stage to a disease stage. And his point is somewhere in there that triggers, and he wants to know why. And they've been studying this for a long time because of his work on the DNA side of things. We're moving rapidly to that point. And, and when, when you get inside of our program, mm-hmm. we, our docs stay up to date with this. They study it continuously. They consult continuously with guys that are in this space. Mm-hmm. And they realized, which is another big part of what we do we haven't talked about, is that your gut biome is one of the most important parts. So you have your genome, mm-hmm. which we decode and see the markers. Then you have your phenomes, which, uh, which actually affect your DNA, and they change regularly. We do your DNA, you need to do it once, especially if you do it with a competent lab like mm-hmm. we have. Then we, we continuously monitor your genome through mm-hmm. your blood, and that needs to be done a couple times at least a year. And that's our program. You get involved, you get all of this data. So, so we have what we call the 30-30-30 plan. Mm-hmm. The 30, first 30 days, we're going to diagnose, we're going to look for the things that could kill you right now. Mm. You know, heart disease, you have cancer, undiagnosed cancer, uh, or other issues going on that you aren't aware of. Mm-hmm. That's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to take all that data. And, and it takes some of this stuff we send out for AI overreads. Mm-hmm. Uh, it takes a few weeks to get that back. Mm-hmm. So within 30 days, you're going to get 80% of your data that day because we're going to go over it with you with the radio. So when you come in and you do this package, 80% of the data you'll get same day. You'll get most and of it. And someone will go over yeah. it with you. Then we send others out to do this these specialized AI overreads. It's a, it's a service, and they don't give you the software, so you have to send it to them, which mm-hmm. is great. It's a great product. It's their model. works well. Uh, and then after, at the thir- end of 30 days, we're going to get the rest of this data, and then you're going to have deep consults. You're going to already have had consults with mm-hmm. our doctors with the team on the next next 30-day plan. So, so it's 30 days, 30 months to extend your life 30 years and beyond. Mm. And the monitoring goes on, and that's where the real magic happens. Once we know there's the threat detection is out of the way, 
once we know we've managed whatever we found mm -hmm. there, hopefully nothing, but typically we do, then we go into the longevity piece. That's awesome. And that's the continuous monitoring both remotely with, and there's, you know, we don't have one particular thing we use, you know, Apple Health and the Rings. Uh, there, all those things are kind of in their infancy mm -hmm. and they're being improved daily. So we kind of keep up with the latest things and those things send constant monitoring back into servers that are monitored by our docs and their docs. And that's the key. And that's what Dr. Hood talks about, finding it at that point where it transfers from wellness stage to disease stage mm -hmm. is really the key for the future. So we'll get the threat out of the way. We make sure we're monitoring your uh, con your hormone and all of your blood and all of your other findings. We do the scans annually, and, and that's the data you need to, s to make sure we're ahead of any type of disease when we it starts to come out at the earliest stage. It's so crazy, dude. And it works. And we've got countless stories of survival, mm -hmm. which I love to talk about, by the way. Yeah. Well, it's, it's crazy, guys. I'm going to tell you, you know, this is stuff that I, I mean, I, I geek out on, like, fitness and, and health and how to, how to just be healthier. You know, I'm 44, and, dude, nobody can predict the future how long we're going to live. Death's an uncontrollable right? We're all going to die. I mean, it's, un it's an uncontrollable. Like, you know, you said you can get hit by a car, you know, something can happen. I mean, there's all kinds of things, but there are a lot of things that you can control there with, are. And, with, and with your health side. And I think that, and the key is to stay engaged. Yeah. Get the information. Be aware. It's, it's easily available now. Yeah. It's, it's there and it's continuing to improve. The DNA genome itself has got all the data we need it's your encyclopedia of mm -hmm. your body every cell every genetic but there's so much data there that it's going to take years for this data to be processed comparatively mm -hmm. to all the samples they have and the known history of these people that's given their dna had it had it decoded until we get one thing and when you see this when you hear this happens and it becomes available commercially, mm -hmm. and that is quantum computing. Right now, it's probably estimated with every supercomputer we have, just on the samples they have so far with DNA, to take approximately 20 years to get all of the computations done so that we can p take your DNA and say, oh, you're on 14 days from now, you're going to have this. Six years from now, you're going to have this. Mm -hmm. If we get quantum computers running, this will take about two weeks. Damn, that's how fast they are. And I'm not a, I'm not a tech guy, but uh, when when we hear that happens, the evolution that's going to happen in healthcare and longevity is incomprehensible today, and we're pushing it every second, trying to get it there. Well, you're uh, you're 66, right? Correct. You've been doing this in, since your 30s. I've been in around the health space. Yeah. I mean, like in the health space, right? right? So you've geeked out on this. It, it's close to you within your family, Absolutely. what it's done for your own family. Absolutely. You know, it's obviously um, you've mastered this. You know what I mean? It's super important. I don't know about mastery, but we stay up with it every day. Well, you do. And, sure. uh, well, I mean, you're, you, 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 you geek out on this, on I helping do. people. You Absolutely. know what I mean? And it's, 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 we're driven. Yeah. And it's our, it's our purpose. You know, you wander around in your life a lot of times, especially when you're young. What's my purpose? Why am I here? I see these guys doing this. I see astronauts. You know, what am I here for? I figured it out. Unfortunately, you know, I, I lost a family member to, to finally see my spot. But it was it was around me the whole time. Mm -hmm. It was put in front of me multiple times. I just wasn't listening. But I'm telling you, I am today, and we're here. Yeah. And we've invested billions in the infrastructure, and every day is a blessing And because I get to meet guys like you that are dialed in and people that we've saved their lives. And well, I know this one thing for sure. We have millions of people. You know, we get about 150 million views every 28 days on social media, and I, I know every one of these people want to live a long life. I don't even need to ask anybody. I might, I might need another phone number. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so what, what we need to do, let's, so let's tell them, um, number one, I told them they could call the, the 833-411-SCAN. Right. Okay. They can click the link in the bio. They can scan the code um, to, to get together with you, the QR code. Right. Um, let's talk to them at the end as, as we're, we're ending the call. What is it you want to tell them? What, what, what do they need to know? What can I, they do with I, you? Take, take control of your health care. 
right now you don't have control of your health care. Your health care is controlled by big corporations and uh, doctors that want to treat you but can't. So and the so information they, that we're going to give you will allow you to do that. So they can reach out, just tell them you saw the podcast with Andy Elliott, or they can scan the code. So, so I, I've kind of put together a little program here, especially for you guys. Yeah. Uh, we value priced it. Uh, we're just calling it the Elliott program. So they can reach out, let them yep. know that they want to be a part of the Elliott deal, or the link and the, and the scan code will take them straight to that. That's correct. I love that, man. Well, I'm going to tell you, number one, I know for sure that we just saved thousands of people's lives. I know I that for right. sure. Uh, number two, education is the key. It's the key. And we learn a lot of stuff about a lot of different people, but self-mastery is educating yourself on you, right? That's if you're right. going to build a great life, um, you got to make sure that you have self-awareness, sure. right? Yep. Self-mastery. Absolutely. Look, look at how many people you teach a day. And yeah. It's amazing the people I see. Again, I... I don't talk enough about the team that I've met here today, and, and I've been here once before. But the education, think how hard they work to get that. Mm -hmm. But hardly anyone does that for their body, for their Yeah, for their I, I was just about to say itself. that. Like, there's, 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 two, there's two worlds. There's two secrets to this. There's the external world. We need to master that. Uh, you know, spend money to invest in certain things in our life and to have a good life externally. But then there's an internally, right? And the internal game, a lot of people spend things on the external part, do things externally. Most people spend more maintaining, maintaining their car than they do their body. Yeah, well, Ever. that's for sure. Yeah. I know that. And I don't know why we don't think about it a lot. I just don't think it's talked about a lot. So I'm glad that we just had a real long conversation on this. Everybody is massively educated. Every single person that's watched it that made it to this point, I'm telling you, you know, I think that I run across certain people in my life. God puts in my way for me to say, hey, I need to take this serious. This person wouldn't be here if I didn't need to do this. I think you guys, if you've made it to this point, it's very simple. You guys need to make sure you either call the number, the 833 scan You guys need to scan the code or you guys need to go down to the link in the description box. Guys, not only is he uh, super smart, wealth of knowledge, but one of the, the things that I like, he's not a doctor. But all the doctors work for him, his whole family. You said your son's in this business as well. He is. Right? All of my sons work. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like you guys are ultra passionate about it. This is a family business. Um, but, you know, this is one of those things in life where the amount of people's lives you've changed, it just feeds you to be more hungrier uh, to go and, and keep buying all this expensive technology, allow people at any, at any um, in income bracket to be able to, to, to use this, to live a long life. And uh, remember, don't just do this for yourself, okay? If you're married, if you've got a girlfriend, I'm telling you, a boyfriend, um, do it for them. If you know someone that's older that you're like, dude, and I'm giving an example. I did this and I'm 44. You know, he just talked about the 32-year-old kid, right? And which, I mean, I call that a kid because it's so young. It is a kid. But, but can, can probably live to be 70 or 80 now, whereas dad died at 49, grandpa died at 50, just because... We're, we're playing chess. We're playing ahead. And, um, you know, it, it's like predictive analytics, right? Like you talk about data. It's like you can almost predict what's going to happen. So the goal is is physically to go a different road than the one you're currently on because we can predict where and what's going to happen with, with what we have. So we just we choose a different road. And that's how you live a long-ass life. So information this, is key. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. And, and everything you said is like you said, when's the most important scan? The next one right. and the next one. And that can let you know where you live. And like I said, guys, we're in the technology era. So let's not act like we are aren't you guys know what the cell phone has done for you. Right. Just imagine what's been done for you medically. And by the way, you don't have to go buy all this stuff. You don't have to go do all this stuff. All you do is you get together with somebody that bought all the stuff. You don't have to call your own doctor. You literally call the number. Um, you guys click the link or you scan on the screen. And then you get connected with a man right here, and he'll take care of everything. That's it. It's the power of knowing people. Anybody I know that can help you guys have a better life, make more money, build your skill set, create better habits, or live a longer life and be healthier, dude, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to introduce you guys to him. So I want to tell you thank you today. Thank you. Truly, it's been awesome, man. I love it. Usually I'm it's all like fired up and wired up today. I'm just sitting back just getting educated but hey I do this myself 
what it is that I'm telling you guys you need to do, I did for myself, I do for my, for, did for my wife, and I'm going to continue to do this until I die. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play ahead of this game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be ahead of it. So right. I'm counting on you. I better live to be 290 years old. I'm counting on you. All right, love it's you guys. Possible. I'll see you in the next podcast, and I appreciate you, brother. Thank you, Andy. Great you guys time. will be seeing a lot appreciate of him soon. You. See you soon. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.